the pre-programming sessions. Today we will learn prime number programming C language. So what is a prime number? How to write a pre-programming prime? What is the logic used in prime number program? So a prime number is a number which is greater than one and the number which is divided by one and itself. So we have to check whether it is divisible by one and itself or not. We need to check. Normally it is a whole number and it should be greater than one. And very important point, it should have only two factors, which are one and itself. So prime numbers can't be divided by other numbers than one and itself. Okay. So here we are have giving some examples for prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 20, etc. Which are prime numbers which are divisible by 1 and itself. Okay. So 0 and 1 are not considered as prime numbers. So we'll start checking the prime numbers from 2. And 2 is the only prime, even prime number because all the numbers can be divided by 2. So all the even numbers can be divided by 2. So 2 is the only even prime number in the list. Now, let us write a program. So before writing a program, let us write a brief algorithm. Normally, what steps we follow to write a program. So generally, we will accept a number. And that number, we check whether it is divisible by one and itself, other than one and itself, whether it is divisible by or not. Because every number is divisible by one and itself. If it is divisible by any other number, that's what we are checking. So we are checking the factors from 2 to n minus 1. Now let us write a program in, let us write a program in C. Be clear. So let us write a program in C. So what is the algorithm we follow? Accept the number and all those. So if you are not clear what to write, it is better to Write a flow chart also. Okay. So let us have a flow chart here. Okay. Now this is a flow chart for writing a prime number program. So first step is what start read the number and initialize the variables, required variables, and start checking from two to n minus one. So if you can consider one and n, okay. If you don't consider also, let us write in both the ways using this simple flow chart. Are we clear? So let us follow the flow chart and write the program. Okay. So now, so we start the program. First, we accept the number. Enter a number which is greater than 2. Enter a positive number which is greater than 2. Scanner. And, uh, and we know already always ampersand should be used to recognize the fact. Now we have accepted the number. Now we need some temporary variables so that we can we use i and if at all we want to use a flag. And, okay. So you can also use the factor count. Okay. So factor count. F count. Fact count or Are we clear? So initially, the uh, fact count is what initially Z. The fact count of any number is Z. Now let us check for from beginning from 1 to N, I is equal to 1, I less than or equal to N, and I. Anyway, every number is divisible by 1 and itself. In the easy program, first let us include one and itself. Now, what we have to check whether the number is divisible by all the numbers from one and itself or not. So, if number divisibility is checked using a modulus operator, divisible by one and itself or not. So, we will check all the i substitutes of values. Okay. If it is divisible, means what? Then it is not a So we don't know the only 
prime number which is having two factors should be a prime. So what you have to do is you have to fact count plus plus. Fact count plus plus. Okay. So we will write fact count plus plus and we'll keep on incrementing the facts, factorial count. That is nothing but that. Count, uh, what we say, factor count. Okay. So if you are confused, you can take it as factor count because we are factor count. So how many number of factors you have, we are counting. So after coming out of the loop, we have to check a number which is having only two factors is a prime number. So else, it is not a prime number. Print a prime number. What is the prime number? The entered number. So the entered number is prime. Are we clear? So if not, we can say else print f d is not a prime number. Are we clear? Now, let us uh, compile the program and execute what is the output we generate in a simple program. Now, let us compile this program. We have uh, created a factor count variable which should be initialized to C. Okay. And we also want i less than or equal to num. Are we clear? So always make sure that your program should not have any errors. The variables which you have declared should use same in the entire program. Now it is successfully executed. Now let us run the program. Now assume that we want to check whether 10 is prime number or not. So 10 is not a prime number. So we have to give this number so that we it should not print any garbage values. If you enter 10, then 10 is not a prime number. If you enter 11, 11 is a prime number. So if you enter, if you enter 2, 2 is a prime number. If you enter 3, 3 is a prime number. If you enter 5, 5 is a prime number. So we are checking the factor count. Okay. So now assume that this program is easy, prime program, but it is not a very good program because assume that you have entered 1000. So 1000 is not a prime number will come to know after dividing with 2 only. But we are iterating 1000 times and we are checking. Then we are printing it is not a prime. Instead, once we come to know that if the number is divisible by other than numbers which are one and itself, immediately will come out of the loop. Then it is a best loop. So how to come out of the loop using break? Are we clear? So using break, we will come out. And any anyway, we know that then any number which is divisible by one and itself. So every number is divisible by one and itself. So we are excluding the checking of one and itself divisible. We are only checking from two to number minus one only. Okay, because every number is divisible by one and itself. So which improves the program speed and it is a way of good writing a program, good standards of writing a program. But the, the count should be changed. So anyway, one and itself we are excluding. If the factor count, if any factor between one and to end n number minus one, then it is not a prime. Now let us compile this program and let us run this program. So if you enter 10, then immediately it is not a prime number. Then if you enter 50, then it's not a prime number. If you enter 47, 47 is a prime number. Okay, so 47, 47 is not a prime number. So like this, we will check all the program using a simple log. So we want to check what is happening using a simple printf statement. So we can write one printf statement. 
print check. Okay. And what what is checked? Let us see. So we are checking, checking. Okay, checking percentile D is divisible by percentile C. So what we are checking? Number and time. So that we want to check how many number of times the factor count also we can print. So factor count till now the also can be checked. Are we clear? So using a simple program, we can we can check what is happening inside the program. Now let us enter and so let me check how many times the program is run. So the factors are zero. Checking thousand with immediately number by two. Immediately we are coming out and we are checking thousand is not a prime. If at all, if you don't write break, what will happen? Let us see. If you don't write break, it will check from two to number minus one. All the numbers it will check. Are we clear? So if you observe, it is uh, okay. So if it is Okay, so if it is check it without a break, please check it a thousand. So it is checked by all the numbers. So we got almost 13 factors for the thousand, and the loop is running for thousand times. Are we clear? So it is better once we have one factor other than one and itself, also it is a not a prime. So using a simple program. We are able to demonstrate whether the number is prime or not. So this prime fact, this prime program here, this printf statement is not required. It is only to show you how the what is happening inside the program. Are we clear? So this is about writing a prime number program in C language. Okay. So let us uh, go back to the presentation and. Uh, Okay, so we are telling about a prime number is a number which is divisible by one and itself, and to have only two factors, and we are checking the divisibility from two to n minus one, where n is the number. Okay, so zero and one are not considered as prime numbers. Okay, so two is the only even prime number. Okay, and we are checking the divisibility using a simple flowchart. Okay. So this is a prime program. In the next video, we will try to print how to print the list of prime numbers in a given range. So thank you so much for attending this lecture.